Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the five cells found in the epidermis. Okay, keep in mind uh, the epidermis, of course, is the outer layer of skin and it is predominantly stratified squamous epithelial cells. So keep that in mind. If we were to look at it really, really quick under a microscope, really all we're going to see is tightly packed cells that lack something called uh, ground substance. They basically lack extracellular uh, matrix because they're so tightly packed. Very, very different tissue type from connective. And of course we have videos on connective tissue. So definitely be sure to watch that. So these are the additional cells in addition to that stratified squamous epithelium, okay, which is the predominant cell type. These are the other specialized cells found within uh, the epithelial uh, uh, layer there the, uh, of the epidermis, okay? So let's go through these here. These are the five specialized cells. So the first cell type is the stem cells, okay? And they are found, these, these are the names of uh, the layers of the uh, epidermis. The bottom layer contains most of these specialized cells. The bottom layer uh, is the stratum basal, or basali, however you want to pronounce it. This layer is the deepest layer, uh, and again, it has a lot of mitosis occurring at it. It's the most active layer of the epidermis. Because you got to remember, as we get further uh, out or toward the outside, which would be the more superficial areas of the epidermis, okay, this would be the deepest area. As we get more superficial, we get to dead cells. We get to older cells, and then, of course, the very outer layer of the epidermis is really dead cells. So this would be, this would contain cells that are in a sense the newest, and again, the most active, meaning doing the most mitosis. So keep that in mind. Uh, dead cells don't mitose, right? So these are new cells which are undergoing active mitosis. So the stem cell, again, which is definitely uh, gonna be a very active cell, is in the stratum base cell. And what is it doing? It is making the keratinocyte. So that's its job. So it is producing the keratinocytes. The keratinocytes are unique in that they are present in all layers of epidermis. Okay. What do they do? They make keratin. Keratin is a protein. Uh, it's a very tough protein. It forms the outermost layer of the epidermis. Right? So technically, yes, our epidermis is predominantly the stratified squamous epithelial cells, but technically we can call it keratinized stratified squamous epithelium because, again, it has this tough keratin layer, which is really, really abrasion resistant. The other unique thing about the keratinocyte I'll mention is that, yes, because they're in all layers, they will soak up the melanin that's produced. And so whatever pigment your skin is, that's of course because that melanin pigment has soaked into the keratinocyte and gives you that, that shade to your skin, okay? Now what about the melanocyte? Well, we kind of mentioned that indirectly a minute ago. It's also in that really, really active deep layer, the stratum basal. The melanocytes make melanin. And of course, melanin is your skin pigment. Something really, really interesting is that everybody has the same number of melanocytes in their epidermis, whether you're super, super fair skinned or super, super dark skinned or even somewhere in, in between. We roughly have the exact same number of melanocytes. What's different? Well, if you're really, really fair skinned, you make a lot less melanin. Your melanin pigment can also be much more fair. Okay, if you're darker skinned, then you're gonna not only make a, a, a darker type of melanin pigment, but you're also gonna make a lot more of it. And of course, it's not going to break down as quickly. Uh, you know, when you go in the sun, that triggers melanin production. So darker skinned people are gonna make more of it and it's gonna basically stick around more in their skin. Lighter skinned people are still gonna make it, they're just gonna make a lot less and it's going to fade very quickly. So keep that in mind. Everybody makes melanin. Okay, the only people that are not going to properly make melanin are the ones with a genetic disorder called albinism. So keep that in mind. Here we have the tactile cells next. They're also in the stratum base cell. And what do they do? They are our touch receptor cells. Okay, so that gives us the ability 
to, to feel on the surface of the skin. Lastly, we have the dendritic cell, which is found in two different layers. These layers are up uh, just a little bit from the stratum base cell, so they're not as deep, but they're in the stratum spinosum, which would be the next layer up, and then the stratum granulosum, okay? So they're found in these two layers, and basically these are macrophages. That's what they are. So we know macrophages, we've mentioned in other videos, the macrophages phagocytize. So they phagocytize foreign debris. So just like the deeper layers under the epidermis, which would be the dermis, uh, which is connective tissue, they also contain macrophages looking for things that shouldn't be there. They're phagocytizing anything foreign. The dendritic cells doing the same thing. Okay, so that's our five cells of epidermis. So till next time, good luck and good study.